Dustin Wankoff here, Product Specialist with Agland and Lloydminster. Today we're going to do our product support video for our model year 2020-1910 air cart. So first what we're going to go through is bringing our air cart out of storage and getting ready for the season. So at the end of the season last year, we cleaned our cart out, uh, washed it out, let it dry out, made sure it was blown down really well, and then maybe filled it full of floor dry. Now if we do have floor dry in it, what we want to do is make sure all of that's gone. So first what we're going to do is we're going to remove our plug or our meter roll depending where we have the in for our meters. Make sure our half width disconnects are open, so our handle's down. Remove our bottom plate. Make sure our handle's pushed in to let everything blow, come down. Then what we're going to do is blow out make sure that everything's clean in here. So next we're going to talk about a little bit of daily maintenance in the field. One thing that we want to make sure we're doing daily in the field um, if not daily, every second day for sure, is pulling our meter rolls out, especially our fertilizer ones, to make sure that they're clean and cycling things around. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is close our half width disconnect here to make sure that no product will come out of the tank. We'll remove our meter roll. And we'll pull it out. Now at this time, this is when we want to make sure that we blow it out, leaf blower, compressor in the field, and especially make sure that behind the section gates here, they're nice and clean. The gate detection rod runs through here and there's a little magnet on each gate. We're going to want to make sure all this is clean, that we don't have any dust buildup in there or any peas. What will happen is if we get anything stuck in there and this gate sticks open just a little bit, we're going to be getting a warning saying, that our gate is detected open when commanded closed or detected closed when commanded open when the gate may very well may be open just away from the magnet. So we want to make sure that's clean. As well, we want to make sure that there's no large debris built up inside of our tank here. One thing we can do as well is we can pull these cups out. You guys are going to want to do this at the end of the season as well to make sure we get everything clean can pull them out, get everything nice and clean. So as well with those pulled out, we do have that little fitting at the very far end. There's the small hose connected to that that runs up to our tank pressurization gauge. If we ever start to get uh, tank pressurization gauge issues, the first thing we want to look at is make sure that fitting isn't plugged or the hose going to the gauge. Now one thing to note is if we do have to blow any of these out, we want to make sure that we don't blow from that side to the gauge because we will pop the gauge. So what we want to do is we want to remove these hoses from the back of the gauge here, go over to the other side, make sure they're clean and blow through them. So now that we have everything cleaned out in here, we're going to reinstall our uh, cartridges again here. We want to make sure that they go in the proper way that they came out. So we've got our end one here has the hole for that fitting. As well, if you're running a six run cart, um, you'll make sure that you have foam in the proper, in your two middle ones. So when we're putting these in, we need to make sure that they snap right down. You'll kind of hear them click in. This one to follow and we want to make sure that they're level in the center with each other. So at the start of the year when we first hook up our seeding tool to our tractor, we want to make sure that we do a meter flush. We will go to our air cart run page, diagnostics, enter system tests, and scroll to our hydraulic maintenance page. Here, what we want to do is we want to select all three of our tanks. 
We want to run for 15 seconds. Hit start. Each meter now will be turning for 15 seconds to make sure that there is no air or debris in the hydraulic motors. What this will do is make sure that we are meet accurately metering our product out of our air cart. Once that's done, we can also select run at 100 RPM on test, select our tanks. Now if we do not meet our 100 RPM, this is a good indication that we are missing the load sense orifice on our hydraulics in the tractor. Here you can see that we can't make 100 RPM. We will now go make sure that our tractor has the load sense orifice installed. We have now installed the load sense orifice in our power and beyond circuit. And we can make our 100 RPM test. So over on the right hand side of our machine here, on each of our three tanks, we have two grease nipples behind here. They're each 50 hour grease nipples. So one here on the meter drive shaft and one here on our agitator shaft. Those are one shot every 50 hours. So for yearly greasing on either our auger or conveyor, um, on our arm latch here, there are two grease nipples. There, looking at our locking mechanism into our auger cradle, there's one there. Right here on our pivot frame, on the back side of this pivot frame, and one more on our front pivot frame. And those are yearly grease nipples. Thank you.